A non-competition clause refers to an agreement by one party with another that during the term of the agreement and for a period of time after the end of an agreement or period of time that they're providing services, they will not compete with your business. So typically it will have a term of one or two years. If it's a little bit more than that, it may not be enforceable depending on the state. It will have a geographical area. So let's say, for example, that um, I'm a web design company and I hire someone to provide services for me and I don't want them to then compete in my little area. Um, now that I'm training them and paying them, I would have that during the term of their employment and for two years after they stop working for me that they cannot have a web design company within Hillsborough County. And in Florida, these are enforceable. In other states, there are some states that they're void against public policy and they're not enforceable. Non-solicitation clause is a little more narrow, and it just refers to um, an agreement by an, a party, usually an employee or an independent contractor, that they will not solicit your customers they, after they leave um, employment or even during, that they won't say, hey, come work with me instead, or I can do this less expensively for you, so let's leave this company and come with me. Um, it also can protect against people taking your employees from your business, and this is a big deal for companies. They can have like a general manager in their business, a key employee for them who's friends with all the other employees. They decide to go out and start a new business. You not only want the non-compete clause, but you also want it where they can't then go take your employees and then call up all your customers and say, hey, all the employees are with me now and um, come, come and uh, we'll provide you with less expensive services and do it better. So both of those clauses are very important to protect businesses.